episode of Physician Efficiency. We're here we're going to talk about the Agent Hospital, a virtual AI-powered hospital that's been developed by Tsinghua University in China. And we're going to basically explore what this means for us and what are the potentials, implications, or what is this hospital's current capabilities and what's really happening with this news. If you haven't heard of it, it's mind-blowing that they're basically claiming that their AI hospital and the AI agents are able to treat 10,000 patients in a matter of days. And they're also getting out this result that it's 93% accurate when it comes to respiratory diseases. So that's what they've been released for now. The agent hospital basically is a fully virtual healthcare ecosystem. All of the entities, the doctors, the nurses, and the patients are intelligent agents, and they're driven by this large language model. And the dynamic, it's a simulated world, allows the AI agents to actually autonomously interact, diagnose, treat, and even learn within that simulated world. And it's a self-contained kind of digital realm and it's designed to push the boundaries of medical AI and generative AI and explore new frontiers in our healthcare delivery and training. How do these work? So at the core, uh, there is sophisticated AI agents and they are programmed to simulate the entire patient journey. So this includes every time you know, they come in with the initial onset of an illness and the pre-hospital care through the in-hospital process, triage, registration, detailed consultations, examinations, diagnosis, prescription, and all the way to the rehab and follow-up. The AI doctors can actually review medical literature that we have, interact with the thousands of unique virtual patients, make complex medical decisions, and the most important part is that they can learn from every single case, both the successes and their failures, and then learn to improve, which is very interesting and mind-blowing. So the stack to how this works is that at the very top, you have this learning process situation called the Med Agent Zero. And this is the part that actually helps these agents self-evolve and then allows them to generate their own information. And these are what we call unlabeled data within that virtual hospital and enable them to enhance their healthcare skills, their knowledge, which is then validated. They validate that against real world medical data sets. So what really powers the interaction between these agents is the large language models. And those are built upon basically a comprehensive simulated environment that includes not just the virtual hospital infrastructure, but also detailed virtual patient cases whose diseases can onset, progress based on established medical literature and knowledge bases and foundational AI models. So right now, what we know, the key performance metrics that have come out of the simulation that they've used for 10,000 virtual patients, they're reporting that 93.06% diagnostic accuracy for respiratory diseases. And, uh, and this was accomplished basically reportedly by 14 virtual doctors and only four AI nursing agents. And the research is actually published, I'm going to link it there, on ARXIV and highlights the systems processing and learning capabilities. It's all in there. But as you can see, the numbers are crazy. 10,000 in AI hospital versus 200 in a traditional hospital it's comparatively, or five days in a hospital would equal to a 30, 365 days in a traditional hospital. So what this matters and why is it important for us? So they didn't create this to replace the human doctors. It's here to improve our efficiency. And there's a lot of revolutionary applications for this in terms of medical training. We're going to go into it. It's a lot of risk-free practice. Medical research, you can simulate diseases and outbreaks and learn from them in larger scale for our clinical practice to how these future AI assistants can help us with initial diagnostics and even help with documentation. And also, really, very importantly, for our physicians who work in a underserved area and they don't have access to specialty care, some of these AI agents could become very specialized in certain aspects of medicine and can actually help. And overall, this way, the entire healthcare system can run much smoother with the help of these. But let's talk about the medical training part because that's on its own. It's actually very interesting. So really... The medical training, you could basically imagine that it will be completely risk-free. 
they will be getting a lot of real-time feedback. The students are in the center of that environment, the spotlight, and they'll learn everything. And they can actually practice on thousands of different clinical cases that are all AI driven. And there is nothing to be feared about. If they make a mistake, they learn from it and then they can improve and move on. In terms of the research, we talked about the simulated disease outbreaks, the testing the treatment protocols that we already have and their efficacy, speed up our discovery cycles, something that would take years of research into just months and weeks. Global modeling capabilities, so that you can actually test things in different demographics and geographic variations of things. So it can help us in terms of our efficiency, documentation, handling routine tasks, so that we can focus on that human-centric care. Of course, it's not going to be easy. And this is a simulation, a virtual environment, right? And to bring that into real world clinical practice is actually a lot of challenges. One of the things is the strict medical regulations that we have. We have to make sure our patient data is always in private and is not shared with these AI medical systems. Defining how humans and the AI systems can collaborate effectively would be very difficult. And maintaining that human touch in care delivery, because everything, if everything is being handled by AI, we need to make sure we focus on that aspect of care and make sure that the human aspect and the compassion in medicine stays when treating real patients. Final thoughts again, the future is happening right now, guys. What do you think? Agent Hospital is just a glimpse of this and it's very preliminary right now in terms of research, but it's already showing some promising results. So how could these AI systems really transform your daily practice, you think, in the next few years? And do you feel ready to handle and deal with AI agents in your practice? So go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you enjoyed the video up to here, don't forget to comment, and subscribe. And if you have any further ideas or anything you want to talk about related to this or for the future, please go ahead and comment that for me. And I will see you guys on the next video.